My name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Gateway NV59C with a cracked laptop screen that we're going to replace. Let's take a look at the tag so that you can see it's a Gateway NV. 59C. Um, this is a nice laptop, has WiMAX, has a Blu-ray disc, so let's get this fixed and replaced and returned to the customer. So for this kind of laptop, in order to replace the screen, what you need to do is remove the plastic frame around the screen, also known as the bezel, and then you get to the screen. The tools that we're going to need to do this job are, is a exacto knife with a sharp pointed end, a pair of metal tweezers, and a small electronic screwdriver with a PH0 bit and a larger PH1 bit. Most likely we use the PH1 bit, so let's put that in. Okay, in order to remove the plastic frame around the screen, the first thing you have to do is take off some screw covers on the bottom side of the bottom of the screen. And they're plastic screw covers, and that's what we use our exacto blade for. So we reach in there. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. This is not too bad. And we put the plastic screw covers, just put it here so we don't lose it. And then we do the same thing on this side, like so. And then we use our screwdriver to remove the screws. So we have one screw, remove it here. And we have the second screw, remove it here. Okay, next, what we need to do is remove the plastic frame. And what I like to do for that is rotate, move the laptop to the side, and use my fingers on the screen side, my fingertips, and gently pry up the cover using the fingertips from the screen side and listen for the snapping sounds. Once you hear snapping sounds, that's a good sign. So that's probably the hardest part of your job. So go slowly, take it easy, and just gently go around. If something doesn't give right away, just move on, and eventually it'll give. Try not to break the plastic frame when you do this. Sometimes it happens to me, most of the time, Things go just fine. Just keep going. If you find some stubborn parts, just go elsewhere. Okay, and loosen the screen on the bottom, like so. We're almost there. Okay, at the corners, this is a little bit more stubborn than usual, but we got it, like so. So I do this a lot, and even it, it takes me sometimes a little while, so don't get frustrated with it. And at the very bottom, once you loosen stuff up, you can use your metal tweezers to pull it out like that. The hinge covers are a bit tighter. So pull it out like that and that's the plastic frame. So we put the plastic frame to the side and we look at the screen now. So the screen is mounted on metal brackets with screws that are on the side of the screen. So let's take a look. Sometimes it's hard to get to the screws, sometimes it's easy. In this case, it's easy. There's three screws on each side that we have to remove, one, two, and three. So let's start removing them one by one. 
have the screen tilted back a little bit when you do this so the screen just doesn't fall down when you move remove all the screws because there's uh, some connector on the back that we don't want to damage okay that's two screws and that's three okay and then we go on the other side like so there's one there's two and there's three okay so all the screws are removed from the screen so we can now gently tilt forward the screen and right away when we tilt forward the screen we notice that the webcam cable is attached to the back so there's some adhesive so we gently lift off the adhesive and see what's going on down here and it's attached one more point we lift that off and there's some tape attached here like so so we lift that off okay so now the screen's almost free there's only one connector going back to the video cable to the laptop so and that's held down by some tape okay and there's some tape we lift up the tape slowly like so this tape is a little bit tighter than usual so we take our time when you lift up the tape around the connector be very careful so as not to lift up the connector straight because it slides back you don't want to damage it so we keep going taking our time the main thing is if something's not quite right just take your time and don't panic and don't rush it it's a little bit delicate but it can be done fairly easy okay the tape is lifted enough now the cable has some adhesive on the back that it's attached to the screen itself so we lift it up a little bit and now it's free what we do is we pull it back like so and the cable is released from the screen all right so now we have the screen let's take a look at it it's a 15.6 inch LED screen as of early 2011 that's the most common type of screen on laptops out there so it shouldn't be too much trouble finding it let's take a look at the model number let's see if we can get a good focus it's B156XW02 that's all you need to know B156XW02 and uh, for reference the connector is on the bottom left as it should be and the screen itself has a glossy finish which most of them do have these days okay uh, you can either find the screen on Google or on eBay or uh, we also saw the screen there should be a link at the top of this video to give you directions how to buy it from us okay and once you're done uh, with the screen put it back in put, uh, put the screen back in and put the plastic cover plastic frame on it and it should be done and the laptop should be as good as new and that's it and once again my name is Eugene Panrutkovich on the laptop screen doc name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com and good luck and thank you